Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. It's your friendly neighborhood of Farmer Resnack. And today we're going to be taking a look at a cool new mod called Crude Oil Production by Barstow NV3 for Farming Simulator 22. This mod is available for all platforms. Everybody can use it. It's not just PC players only. Everybody gets to do this. And what it allows you to do is, is to channel your inner oil baron on any map anywhere that's right you can produce oil and oil based products anywhere using this mod it's a great great little mod it's only about 49 megabytes and it has tons of stuff all kinds of stuff you've got all kinds of stuff that comes with this mod all this stuff comes with it there's you know there's even this stuff over here it comes with custom tankers some pallets all different kinds of goodies that you can use for this mod so we're going to be taking a look at it real quick we're not going to spend tons and tons and tons of time but i was gonna you know i get overwhelmed by stuff and sometimes i look at mods and i'm like wow that looks really complicated i don't know how i i don't know how to do that uh, so i thought you know what if i could teach you how to use it and if i can use it anybody can use it so let's just start real quick I'll just show you the contents of the mod. We'll talk about each one of them and I'll show you how they work. We'll just get into it real quick. Um, so the, the only downside I do have one negative is I didn't see anything animated. There are sound effects um, when the factories are running. Like if we get close to this one, you can kind of hear like some sounds of a factory in the background, um, but there's but there's no animations. And I didn't, I, I couldn't find anything to turn on animations or anything like that. So there are no animations um, that I could find. So it is not animated, but but it works pretty good and uh, it, it it functions really really well. And uh, I'll, I'll show show you what it does. So what you have is a bunch of different placeables that you can put on a map for oil production. So I'll just jump into the placeables menu and I'll show you some of them really quick. The first one and the most basic thing that you can get in this pack is what's called the oil pump, which is just a generator. That's it. It's no different than a solar panel or a wind generator. You put this down and it automatically will generate $4,800 a month for $80,000. So if you just pop that down, you will start generating a income of $4,800 for per month, per in-game month. So if you if you have it set to one day, then you know $4,800 a day, or I mean, yeah. So it's just a generator. It's no different than solar panel, wind generators, or other placeables that just generate income. So that's the first one, is the oil pump generator. Uh, the next couple items you have are storage options that are available for the pack. Now, the first one I think is a little bugged and I will tell you why. So if you go into silos and you go over to crude oil production mod, this says old slurry tank. And I I can't put anything else in it. I've tried, I've tried oil and we will try here in a minute. I've tried putting diesel in it. Um, I think it just is a slurry tank, that's all. And I don't know any way to change it to allow it to add different things. So I think it is just a slurry tank. I could be completely wrong about this and I could be completely mistaken, but I think this might need a little bit of update from the mod author uh, because as I thought this was going to hold just extra oil, um, but it does not, it just holds slurry. So, um, but it is kind of cool looking. It's a neat old rusty tank and it's kind of neat. This next one is uh, just a diesel tank. It is a diesel refuel tank. You can put diesel into it. You fill it right here and unfill it right here. You can add diesel, finished diesel product, which comes from the factory into this tank, or you can manually refill it if you wanna just buy it. If you just wanna buy diesel, similar to other refill points that you can place on your farm. It's pretty cool. Nice big old tank. You can you can refill and put that diesel, and that is under the silo extent or no containers, right here. Old large fuel tank, right there. 
The tank used for on-farm fuel storage and used to refuel your equipment. So you can refuel your tractors, your trucks, everything. And you also can bring your diesel from the refinery and put it here. So those are, those are kind of the three smaller items. The other items that you get are cell points. And these are cell points that take various uh, products. They don't take every product, but they do take various products. So you need to be careful which ones you put down. As you can see, this is just a little tiny farm stand that you'll be able to sell your bearing grease, your motor oil, your paraffin, and your kerosene. And uh, so it's just a cell point, placeable cell point. This next one's kind of like an office building, which has a cell point around back, which you can, you can bring stuff and sell there. The next one is that comes in the pack is just the farmer's market um kind of redone to accept the oil products you can bring that here and last but not least is again this old fuel tank that you can actually uh sell stuff to now if we pull up our sell points real quick you can actually see crude oil is um the factories are showing up as sell points but they're not they're not really sell points but I, the game does that sometimes. Uh, you can see right here, crude oil purchase point. Uh, it's, you know, there's, there are, you can sell the stuff and I, I will test that here in a minute, but like I've sold crude oil and diesel here. I've sold crude oil to the farmer's market. It, crude oil wouldn't, it wouldn't let me sell it to there. So each one actually has different stuff that, that you can, that you can sell stuff to. And then if we go into the actual production and go into selling points, you will actually see each one of these. Here is the average purchase products of sales. And you can see down there at the bottom as it scrolls through, it takes all kinds of products, not just the oil stuff. It takes a bunch of all the base game stuff as well. Uh, same with the small sales stall. As it scrolls through there on the bottom, you can see it takes all different kinds of products, uh, but it does not take the crude oil just the oil um, the farmers market now does have the crude oil listed along with a bunch of in-game products as it keeps scrolling by scrolling by scrolling by there you go all those different ones but it doesn't take diesel now this one you can actually sell your diesel to to the crude oil purchase point along with all the other oil based products so this one this sell point takes all of the products from the mod that I could figure out. And like normal, I could be wrong. But all right, moving on. Let's get into the production stuff so we're not here forever. You have two different forms of generating oil. You have a small oil pump, which again is just this model, and it has a few more decorations around the outside and some improved functionality. And then you have the big oil pump, which is these two towers right here. And those are found in the production. You can add the crude oil production right here for $100,000. The crude oil production, the big tower for $200,000. Then you also have three ref three refineries. So you can see right here, you have the small refinery for $70,000, the medium refinery for $150,000, and the large refinery for $500,000. They all produce the same product, but they produce them at different rates. So if you have the small refinery, you get 72 cycles a month. If you have the medium refinery, you get 168 cycles per month. And if you get the large refinery, you get 288 cycles per month. So it's just not decoration. If you get the different size refineries, you get more product. You can, you can move more, you can produce more goods in an amount of time. But we're, we're getting ahead of ourselves because first we have to, we have to get oil, right? We got to get oil first. So the first way of doing this is this small oil pump right here. This small little oil pump takes an input and gives you an output. The small oil pump or the oil pump well takes empty oil barrels and gives you crude oil. Those empty oil barrels are purchasable under pallets and they're $50 for 150 liters of oil barrels. And then what you do is you take these empty oil barrels right here, which are movable by hand. You don't need super strength or anything. They don't weigh very much. And you can add those to your oil pump right here. 
Do, 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 do. We'll just drop a few of these in here, have some of this stuff staged. And then what you would do is, of course, like any other production, you're going to come over here and you're going to activate said production. Production cost, it has a monthly cost of 1680 and it does 12 cycles per month. So you get 3,600 liters of oil, I believe, if I'm reading that right. So 12 cycles, each cycle is 150 to 300. You get it. Then that produces these oil barrels, which you cannot pick up by hand unless you have super strength enabled. So you're going to have to use a forklift or something to move these. And then this gives you 500 liters of oil. You can take those that oil and we can move it to a production facility or we can sell it. So I will give you an example of each of those real quick so you know I'm not completely full of it. We'll jump in our handy dandy little forklift here. Oh my gosh, I'm so bad at this. Now I haven't tested this with auto load. So if you are an auto load player, I don't know how these pallets will work with auto load. That is, that is still a question that's out there. Uh, these first two cell points won't take crude oil as far as I know. I, let me try again, but I was not able to get these to accept just the oil itself. Nope. Nope. Can't sell oil there. But we should be able to sell oil at the farmer's market and the the oil sell point. So we'll jump over here real quick. We'll, there you go. It's already selling over the sell point. We got $253 for those two barrels of oil. Now, the next option, so you can sell the oil directly. You don't have to, you don't have to turn it into anything. If you just want to sell oil by the barrel, you know, call yourself a Saudi prince. You can see it already spawned us in another pallet. You can see the pallets do spawn in. You know, you Saudi, you, know, you just package this stuff it and sell it. Now we can bring it over here to the refinery and we can add it to our production queue here and then start getting products. So those two products, are, you know, just you put empty barrels in and you get oil, full oil barrels out. You can sell them or you can turn them into other products. Next form of production is probably the better form. It's a little more expensive. Like we said, if we go back into the construction menu, you can see that this one's a hundred thousand, which requires an input, but this big oil pump is two hundred thousand dollars, and it generates oil for free pretty much after that. There's there's no input at all. So if we go over here, oh I always have auto save on. We go over here, we have big oil pump right here, crude oil. It takes air, which it takes zero liters of air, and I think this is just a filler in order for the script to work, the game to actually work correctly. And then it generates 300 liter or 300 liters of oil uh, at 120 cycles per month. So it's 10 times as fast. That's 12 cycles a month, 120 cycles per month. So it's 10 times as fast and it doesn't cost anything to make the oil. So this is probably your best bet. And as you can already see, I've run this for a couple days and I have 73,000 liters of just crude oil stored up. And and that's that's that. So what do you what do you what do you, you move this oil stuff with? Well, it just so happens that the pack itself, we go into the pack has three different ways of transporting it. You have just your lizard MKS. It's a modified lizard MKS-8 that you can haul diesel and crude with. You have a big MKS-32 that you can haul diesel and crude with. And you also have your little Thunder Creek, if you wanted to, that, that you can haul diesel and crude with. But for the sake of time, we're just gonna go ahead and grab our big truck here. We're gonna get us a big old tanker full of oil. And I'm gonna show you where these things go. It's it's an awesome mod. 
It doesn't require any other mods to work. You don't have to download any companion mods. If you want to add oil to whatever map you're on, I'm just here on Western Wilds because it's nice, big, and flat. And I was like, you know what? This would be perfect. So let's go over here and find our... See, that's a... Uh, let's see if our fill trigger is... Imagine it. It's this one, but this actually might be a cell phone. Nope. Okay, that's where we get diesel. Why is there diesel in this? That's odd. I'm getting diesel fuel from these pumps, but I don't see diesel fuel as an output. I only see crude oil as an output. Huh. Let's em let's just empty this. Now let's go over here around back and see if this is our oil fill point. That's different. Uh, maybe, maybe you get free diesel fuel? <laughs> I don't know where that came from, but that's interesting. Well, that's giving us diesel too. All right. I'm not sure what happened. I What I did is I sold my truck and trailer. I just went ahead and sold it and rebought it. And it seems to be working fine now. In fact, I even tested with the little tanker. If we come up to here and hit R, you can see it's now filling with our crude oil, which is exactly what we wanted. We didn't want diesel. For some reason, I was getting diesel uh, and I don't, I don't know don't don't know why it was uh it was just kind of weird how that was how that was doing that uh so like i was saying earlier this little tank right here now that we have a full tank of crude oil like if you come by here uh it just says crude oil not accepted this i don't think this tank is set up it, it says old slurry tank and i think that's what it is it's just an old slurry tank uh but like I said earlier, if you wanted to sell your crude, we can come over here and we can sell our crude oil to this spot here if we wanted to. There we go. Got a little bit of money. Or we can sell our crude oil to this sell point right here. This sell point also will take your diesel. So when you have diesel, whoop, there we go. So all that stuff, you, you can clearly see the crude oil part of it. Then let's go over here and we'll add this bunch to this small refinery here. Go ahead and unload that there. We're going to jump out and let that unload. And I'll show you that the oil is working. I, I sold the truck. I sold the trailer. I just repurchased a whole new setup. And now it's working. I don't know if there's a little bug somewhere. I, I couldn't tell you. I couldn't tell you what happened or why we were just getting diesel. You know, mods. Sometimes sometimes mods do that. You know, sometimes they do. I still don't know what this is back here. This, this looks like a dump point, And I'm wondering if this is like a cell point, maybe? I guess we can test it here and find out. Get our, uh, get our truck full of oil here real quick. All right, got ourselves a full tanker of oil. And I'm gonna show you that you can, you can come up to this oil plant right here. Offload a bunch of crude oil for this one. We'll go ahead and let that start running. You can come over here to this. This is the medium refinery. We can activate all of our productions now. Or you can activate individually. If you don't want to make all the products, you can just make one of the products. You don't have to make all the products. There we go. These are neat little storage areas. Right here is where your pallets will spawn underneath. Um, just kind of neat. They're neat. Neat deco items. Now we'll run over here to the large refinery. 
And remember, these they're decoratively different, but also the larger one produces items faster. That's, I guess, the best way. But it also consumes... If it produces faster, it also consumes faster, too. So we'll drop our... Drop in some oil there. Like so. And go and we can turn this production on. Activate. 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 I put another big oil pump over there. Because I was... When I was testing. And I was, was getting the same problem with that truck and trailer. There wasn't even any oil in it. And it was spawning diesel. Into my... Uh, into my tank and I don't know why. Now, just a real quick test because I don't know what this I don't know what this little trigger is back here. It looks like a dump trigger. And I really don't know what this is. Can we store our crude oil here is the question. Oh it receives crude, let's see. Yes, so you can put your crude oil back into this storage. All right, that's a cool little feature. Nicely done. I like it. There you go. So you can put your crude oil, you can take it out, or you can put it back in, and it returns back to your big oil pump. Right here. So, pretty neat. Awfully neat. Again, I don't know what that bug was. We got, we we're getting something weird. We don't know what it was. Now, on to the last part. We, we, we got our crude oil production sort it out we know how we're making it last but not least is just a simple production right you get products from it so like i said each one of these is uh they're they're you know small refinery 72 cycles medium refinery 168 cycles large refinery 288 cycles so all different kinds of stuff there then it'll spawn in these pallets over time and you can see our first pallet is kerosene and we can take this kerosene, we can take it over here and sell it right there. To the farmer's market, you can sell, you can sell the finished, the palleted products to all four of these if you wanted to. We got $1,500 for a little pallet, you know, and we can take this pallet over here. And this will sell here. Got some money for that. And we got our, our motor oil. We can go over to this, our, our little stand, if we wanted to sell it at the stand. And you can see, you could drop it here and that'll just sell over time. You know, little motor oil cans. And last but not least, uh, there's another pallet of kerosene. You have bearing grease. And if we wanted to bring our bearing grease, we could actually sell it over here if we wanted to. And then, like you said, these are the products you get. There's bearing grease. Those are empty barrels, bearing grease, paraffin, motor oil, kerosene. And then this is crude oil from the tanks. Uh, last is diesel production right here. This will actually produce diesel. So if we come over to our truck and we pull up to this. We drop our little tank in there. We start fueling our diesel that we've produced in the refinery. That's enough to show. And then diesel can be sold at this location right here. And then we get diesel prices for it. Like that, $3,000. So diesel's, diesel's big money. And if we wanted to, we could go in and we can look at the prices. Of course, with each sell point, you're going to have price variation uh, right here. Large refinery. It says these refineries will buy diesel, but I don't know. I don't know if that's right. The only placeable sell point that I put down that'll buy your diesel is the crude oil purchasing place. There's great. And then the farmer's market. Then the other products, which you have paraffin. Kerosene, motor oil, bearing grease can be sold everywhere, and then crude oil can be sold here in the farmer's market. So some different options for all that, but that's it. That is the crude oil production mod by Barston NV3. 
Let me know what you think about it in the comments. If you could, if you liked the video, found it helpful, want to see more of it, give me a thumbs up. If you don't mind, drop a comment. If there's something I missed, something I overlooked, please let me know. Um, again, trying some new stuff for the channel, trying out some different things and trying to, uh, trying to be more active with things that are out there. All right, thanks for watching. See you later. Bye-bye.